Yes, moving on, ladies and gentlemen, the hip-hop scene in Nigeria has gone through several revolutions, but the 2000s were undeniably a great time for rappers. Many will agree Nigerian rap has come a long way. We've had songs that have impacted the music scene, redefined the sphere, and charted a new course for rappers to follow. This music genre is not just about spitting lines after lines, but understanding the space, defining what the audience wants, and giving it to them. Some rappers did that with their songs. That's why they were huge hits and also anthems that people sang and recited over and over. Let's get nostalgic as we take a look at classic Nigerian rap songs from the early 2000s. This is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, Dag Green, pom, pom, pom. Yes, Dag Green will ever be remembered for his impact in the rap industry in just the short time he spent, most especially making indigenous rap songs commercial success. One of the songs that made him popular was Pom Pom Pom, which was off his sophomore album, CEO. The song was nominated for the hottest single category at the 2010 Air Days Award and became a strong for street artistry movement. There's no question about this legendary this song, Yes, actually. Tune. Uh, one of my favorite lines from this song, because when I heard it, I, I, I not even that one. Um, Ile Obatojo, Ewa Lobusi, and back then I knew Ewa was beans. Okay. So I was like, uh -uh, Ile Obatojo, like you pop beans on Ewa. No, so then I said beauty. beauty. Yes. So then I broke it down for me. You know I'm foreign like that. So uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Uh. <laughs> No, but actually, you just wasted my time, like my wow. two minutes, Sorry. just because you wanted to explain nonsense. Sorry, I apologize. But that one, that one right there, massive, man. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I, we love, missed that, that I love the song from the beginning to the end. And, well, I'm sure many people are in the same WhatsApp group with me. The first verse, the only part we know is, Omo Nijani, Nijala BBC, Nijani Moti Beresi, KBC, Omo Nija, Mole Feishi, Pepsi, Pam! When they play this song, no. they listen to people around you now. Nye, 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 nye. Can we find <sighs> children that will say that they don't know that green? Yes, now. Uh -uh. Yes. Like, uh has -huh. it been that long that yeah. somebody will it's say long. that? Yes. Who's it's, that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's that long. Is that Interesting. Like, and, it's, and it's crazy that Green was just giving us all those 50 cent vibes, ah, but it was the every, Nigerian yes. local way. Love. Massive, all right, so Sasha P. Adara. Mm -hmm. Sasha, in her heyday, was the most prominent woman in Nigerian hip hop, even back in the title First Lady of Nigerian Hip Hop. As her success helped pave the way for other female rappers, Adara was her biggest song housed on her debut album, First Lady, released in 2006 and later put out a as a standout single in 2008. The song earned her a UK-based award for Best Female Artist in 2009. I'm trying to convince myself hey. better believe it. Oh. Hey. Hey. I love yeah. every of those lines from Sasha's it. Adara. Yeah. And it was this old so-called First Lady conversation even sparked a whole lot of conversations back then that I was Sasha calling herself First Lady of Rap. And we had a wet MC. Uh, yeah. All right. So I had that discussion too. And somebody actually mentioned, said that wet MC, wet MC was like my guy, my G, my, like a guy. They're not like first lady, first lady. Mm. I know. Like, but I just heard somebody say somebody it, But it. then, you know, like, you know, you look at wet MC that year. So, <laughs> Even so, now, so, we so, say so first lady. So look, Loki, Loki, who is the first lady of rap? In Nigeria, uh, so the, the, you should put some respect on it Wedding because yeah. I mean, you, 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 can, you, we can always say because people have even in Fuji, right. uh, you know, the genre, you find people saying Obaori, they are the king, they are yeah. this, and it's mm. causing rifts and all that, yeah. which I think is not even supposed to cause any rifts because yeah, but you, the because people know. What and there should be hierarchy. There should be, uh, uh, you know, now you know the lineup. You know how because there is no how we're going to mention all of these things yeah. that we're not going to say where them say. Yeah, uh, where them say had it. Please put some respect Very on true. it. Yes. Give our flowers already. Exactly. And talking about flowers, number three, we have Mode Nai with this one titled "Cry." Mode Nai is arguably one of the top pioneers of hip hop music in Nigeria, and "Cry" was one of the songs that placed him firmly 
on the A list. This right here was released in 2007 from Mode 9's E Pluribus Unum album, and it received major critical acclaim and top charts throughout Africa by bagging three Channel All awards, amongst many others. Ah, uh, the message in the song <laughs> alone, very, very. Uh, uh, Mode 9. Everybody, when everybody talks about rap. Yeah. No, yeah. you, no, 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 no. You, you know, know you have to It's like you just give Mona, the... we just give Mona, like, you know what? Mm. Leave him there. Of course. Okay. Mona, it's Mona. So Mona, you know what? Because that is where you like to be. I will not even say flowers because we use flowers so many times. Okay, don't Let cast. us just give you You're garden. garden. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yes, and we appreciate it because for so long, Mona just thought nobody appreciated him. Nobody what? wanted what he does yeah. in Nigeria and all of these things. But that's why, know how you're going that, to. That's why rappers will be angry. That's okay. Mona was giving you. You, 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 you said, no, come down to our language. Then rappers now switch. Now Rugged, Ma, Rugged Man talked about it. Then J. Cole came for a rap show. J. Cole Nigerians. just dropped an album. And Nigerians were rapping J. Cole's line. What for what? what? what, for what? what like, but we thought ah. people don't like... No, you know that in a uh, prophet's hometown, he yeah, does not, not have value yeah. like that. So Others in a Nigerian that's... proverb. Yeah, foreign, foreign, foreign. <laughs> <laughs> Only on me in there. Yeah. All right, now let's talk about am I safe? Mm. Are we safe right here? <laughs> no, we are not really, especially when am I dropped this classic hip hop track. Safe was off MI's debut album, which was considered by many hip hop heads act as one of the best rap tune ever out of Africa. It was released in 2008 under the Chocolate City Company, Loopy Records. The track was produced by MI himself and he effortlessly flew using references from some of the biggest beats during that time. But somehow, pointing back to an introduction of himself was quite honestly genius. Yeah. I'm not retiring. Oh, I'm just going to firing. Okay. But don't, dis don't be dismayed as any back is hiring, for instance. Okay. Persistence. I'm the angel room and you're the gear, Ooh. you're the piston. Like, yeah, I'm I, just going to pick one line, and this uh, is something we always say on this show. Silence is the, the best, best answer, answer and not violence. Forget, uh, you don't violence if you... Uh, but if you are silent, they will write you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't think, I do not think that any rapper can ah. come up with anything as... Okay, uh, no disrespect, no disrespect, but to top what M.I. did... Like, virtually all the biggest songs that were popping that time. So it's a bit, it to it's rhyme. A, and it was fantastic. Yes. And I tell you what, people like this one so much yes. that I could tell that there was a time like that, that Max FM, I was a, a part of it that I was emceeing with um, Wally Pupupu that day. We had a show. It was a fantastic one. People, am I, you know, that thing about, oh, am I, where have you been? And then he just came and he performed for us. He loved everybody. He ah. loved his show because... People were singing yeah. word for word. He left very happy. Before. Is that my song? What yeah. do you expect? And my uh, nice wow. one. Uh, and shout out to Genie too for the hook. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. right, that's right, that's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a quick break and we'll be back to talk about the number five song. Let's go. Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Before that break, we we're talking about songs uh, from Nigerian M. rap songs. We're talking about M. I. Of course, too. Nigerian yes. rap songs in general. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But then we're talking about M. I. And then we went off air and we continued to talk about M. I. And we're talking about our genius that was yeah. like taking beats from yeah. every, almost all the Nigerian. Songs, yeah. Yes, and then using it for his own song. Amazing. Wrapping up Daily Top 5, we have Ice Prince Zamani with this one titled Ole Ku. Ice Prince was one of those first set of Nigerian rappers that put Nigerian music on the map globally, and it did it like nobody else before him has done it before. And during that classic run, he created one of the best Nigerian records of all time, titled Oleku. I don't know what's more amazing, the Brimo hook, the instrumental, or Ice Prince's legendary rhyme scheme on the verse. On the verses, Oleku was in a class of his own, and this song is still a jam to date. Oh, man, man, man. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got to go. We got to go. and we'll, go without we'll, me. Hold yeah, on, hold we'll, on, hold we'll, on. The queen we'll wrap is up, here. Uh, the queen is here. We'll wrap up, mm. we'll wrap up the, the show with this one by M.I. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for sticking with us. Um, yeah, from 12 that we started the show. And I apologize if I must have said anything. Mm? Yeah, because I 
they are the one that used to wow. spoil me. So Who's they? I, I, you're saying they are the and then who, who, who are they? you faced me. I did not face you, I was still facing the screen. Ah, <laughs> wow. Our time, ladies and gentlemen, is done and dusted. My name is OJ. I did this alongside your girlfriend next door. And of course, Lady Cat. Signing out, ladies and gentlemen, number five, Ice Prince Oleku. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go. Hey.